Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber here, um, very hot day today, but yeah, can't complain with a bit of nice weather can we, but yeah, let's get straight into the chart, alright, I'm going to talk about Cody, alright, but before I do, just want to point out the fact that Safe Haven has broke out like we expected it to, um, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that I did uh, post this as a breakout coming, we saw it roll over yesterday after Bitcoin took a bit of a dump. Um, I did say that you should hold out for that, um, not financial advice though, but um, we could see it recover and we've definitely seen it recover and break out with just a little bit of volume and yeah, we need to break over this level, alright? Now the safest thing to do at this point is to take profit and wait and see what happens, but I'm not going to do that. Reason being is I didn't actually get in at the breakout, I got in before the breakout, okay? So I'm up a little bit more than 25%. Uh, but basically if I see it come back down and break back into the triangle and below this level then at least I can just cut my losses well I wouldn't actually be in a loss I'll be coming out at either break even or in a profit if it breaks back into the triangle okay so me personally I'll just be waiting now to see what happens obviously if it does come back down then I'm not going to realize any profits am I really or, or if I do it's going to be a very small amount of profits so I do expect for it to go up a lot further um, we've seen a breakout with volume which is good now we just want to see a continuation to the upside which I think is more likely to happen rather than it coming back down there I'll just put that out there all right guys so if you did get in on safe haven then well done obviously yesterday I said we needed to see a one day close outside of the outside of the triangle and we've definitely seen that said we need to see some volume and we've definitely see that and uh, uh, seen that we've got a bullish MACD cross as well so I do think there's a lot more to this move that could be had we saw safe haven breakout over here that was a big move consolidated broke out over there that was a big move we see a W pattern come in now and hopefully we can get a large move uh, further to the upside very low cap gem all right and uh, yeah guys there's a lot of money to be made in this coin potentially okay so congratulations if you are in on that yeah let's see how it goes guys I'll, I'll definitely keep updating you on this and uh yeah we'll watch it go up together i guess uh moving on we can see spark point has is taking a bit of a tumble all right i said i didn't want to see it drop below this level now it's attacking this level and we need to see a bounce from here otherwise it can go a little bit pear-shaped but I'm still holding a long-term bag on that. It's got a long-term potential. I think it's definitely got a future ahead of it, especially being in DeFi, especially with uh, all the products coming out, the new roadmaps. And I'm anxious to see what they're going to release on next month's roadmap. Although we're still in the first week of this month, so you know, let's uh, let's just focus on getting through this month before we start talking about September. Um, in regards to Spark Point. Alright, now, guys, if you haven't seen my video on Cody that I did a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, I definitely think that this is a, uh, a, it's a, it's a gem, alright? It's in an uptrend, as you can see, alright? Now, this is not one where I'm saying buy this or, or, you know, jump in it now, because at the end of the day, it is being rejected off this level. I'd rather see a breakout above this level before I start telling you to buy it now, but... In regards to it being a long-term hold, you know, I have bought in already, full disclosure by the way. Probably like a week ago, I jumped into back into Cody. Alright, I was originally buying Cody down here. Alright, and taking profits over here. Uh, before the big Bitcoin dump uh, that happened, the market crash that happened a little while ago. In relation to the virus, okay. But um, yeah, I kind of was waiting to see what it's going to do and by doing that you know i have missed out on quite a lot of profit but that's just the way of the game I, you know my pepper was in other places at the time anyway so it's fine but um yeah i think this has definitely got a future and it's definitely um going to be big game changer for cody uh you can now directly purchase cody all over the world using credit and debit cards because they've got a partnership with simplex okay so very accessible right now um 
Another thing is uh, Cody R DeFi. If you didn't know that, all right, and that's been confirmed by Coin Market Cap. Now they've been putting announcements out on Telegram uh, just to let people know about that. All right, and they say it's one of the lowest DeFi market caps um, around. Uh, it's not. There are lower ones like Sparkwood, for example, is a much lower market cap than 28 million or 28 and a half million. All right, it's currently sitting at five cents, ranked 190. And you know you can see the, the circulating and total supply there, the volume is five and a half million. But um, yeah, Cody is DeFi, and it's still low cap, guys. It's only it's under thirty million. You know, I can definitely see this going towards the hundred million marks, maybe um, in in a very short space of time. Definitely got a lot going on. If you look at September, which is just next month, there's a lot of things coming for Cody. Guys, we've got Cody Pay, uh, Cody X, uh, staking, uh, uh, staking dashboard, integration into gaming, and so on. You know, all they got an app coming for for Android and iOS, stablecoin payments. Like all of this is just September, guys. So we could definitely see some, you know, some some nice moves to the upside in the build up to that. Uh, I don't see why not. But Cody is actually a strong coin. Like I, I, I really love the coin. Really love the fundamentals. I like the team. The CEO seems like a decent guy, and you can do your own research on that. Have a look into it. And um, you know, it's definitely a long-term hold for me. At one point, it was actually probably my favorite find um, several months ago. But um, things have evolved from then. They're not my favorite anymore, but they are up there in my top five. Okay. Now, Cody is not one of them ones where you just see massive impulses to the upside, which is another one of the reasons why I like it, okay? It's steady and it's stable. When it is climbing, it climbs gradually. It climbs slowly and gradually, but it's really strong, all right? And if I see it break up again above this level here, around 500, then I reckon we're going to get a stronger move to the upside. This is on a one-day chart, okay? And it's a long way up. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's Cody. Definitely take a look at that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about Cody, guys. Um, going back to Twee, like, this, this coin has just been... I don't know what's going on with this coin. Like it's, I had to read the white paper again um, uh, this morning, you know, just to make sure I, I understood what exactly was going, what was going on with the, the token supply and the token sales and whatnot. But this is just absolutely on a tear, guys. I'm, I'm actually quite glad that I, I did put in a buy on this. And uh, I'm not regretting it. In fact, I'm probably up around 30%-ish on here already. Yeah, we're looking at about 30%. So that's, you know, if I took profit now and just, you know, left some in for the long long run, see what happens, you know, I'd, I'd be happy. But I wouldn't recommend jumping into a chart this high normally. But... Considering the fact that I did, um, obviously, you know, I wouldn't be against you doing that at this point. But you got to make your own decisions in this game. Like, if this decides to roll over and take a tumble, um, I think it can fall very hard. All right. But what we could be seeing is a potential parabolic curve. Like, obviously, you can see this curving round. If I see this carry on up to the upside and then see a large uh, candle to the upside or one or two. Or three large lightsabers to the upside. Obviously, uh, you know I won't be looking to hold for much longer. I'll be looking to realise those profits and um, ride off into the sunset with them. All right, guys. So yeah, it's just a quick one today. I've been extremely busy today, um, and it's been just quite hot. I've been actually not very motivated to do much at all today. I just want to relax and preserve my energy with this heat. But um, yeah, and, and that's if you're in the UK, you'll know what I'm talking about yeah hope you're enjoying your day as much as i am and uh guys that's it for the video i suppose um if you're not subscribed already please subscribe to the channel like leave a comment in the comment section down below and i'll see you again in the next one